Japan has a reputation for being forward thinking when it comes to new technologies and urban planning. From the bullet train to the 5G solutions paving the way for the future, Japan has been proving itself as one of the most innovative countries in the world. Today, we are going to take a look at another futuristic idea being built in the major city of Japan, the Taranumon Azabudai Project. This city represents an entirely new paradigm of urban planning. They incorporate cutting-edge technology and offer unprecedented levels of infrastructure and services. And if you're interested in living in an ultra-modern city one day, stick around till the end of the video as you'll get an in-depth look at this multi-billion dollar advanced city. This is Technology Now. The Japanese government is investing billions of dollars into developing so-called advanced cities that feature the latest in technological innovation and urban design. One such example is the creative construction of Tokyo's Taranumon Azabudai which has started to take shape. Taranumon Azabudai project site is a long, thin district stretching from east to west which was originally divided by hills and valleys in a complicated landscape. Many of the little, old wooden houses and buildings in the dispersed neighborhood were falling apart. So, the city's infrastructure in general needed improvement. Therefore, Maga Building and the local community decided to implement a Type 1 urban redevelopment project in accordance with the Urban Renewal Act to fix these issues, modernize the area's infrastructure such as roads and parks, and increase safety and security. In 1989, the Council of Creating Cities was created with the help of about 300 rights holders. Since then, the Taranumon Azabudai area has been the subject of much planning and discussion. The National Strategic Special Zone designation was granted in 2017 after the redevelopment plan was authorized and building began on August 5, 2019. The Taranumon Azabudai project will be an innovative urban development effort in the heart of Tokyo, fusing the sophistication of a megalopolis with the warmth of a traditional Japanese village. Questions like what should a future city look like and what is the essence of a city arise as technology progresses and dramatically changes working and living conditions. The Mori building have always believed that the essence of a city exists within the people living and working there and that their thinking has progressed to the point where they're now completely focused on the needs of the individual, reimagining the city as a place where people can live and work in an energetic and imaginative way. A verdant urban oasis of over 24,000 square meters of green space, including a central square of 6,000 square meters, will be featured in the enormous 8.1 hectare area which will be encircled by lush greenery. The new city will span an impressive 861,500 square meters with 213,900 square meters dedicated to office space, around 1,400 residential properties, and a district rising to a magnificent 330 meters in height. Somewhere between 25 million and 35 million tourists will visit this mixed-use city each year, joining the estimated 20,000 employees and 3,000 permanent residents. This modern urban village is built on the principles of green and wellness. Greenery prevails as a diverse group of individuals come together in an environment that works in tandem with nature to create a new society where people can genuinely live human lives. Planning the movement of people and a continuous landscape around a central area served as the starting point for the project's architects. Next, they thought about where three high-rise towers would look best blending in with the verdant surroundings as opposed to the conventional method, which involves arranging the structures first and then filling in the empty space with landscaping, this method involves arranging the landscape elements first. They were able to create a 2.4 hectare green space, including the 6,000 square meter central square, by taking use of the topographical variations of the area and providing vegetation throughout the entire site, including the low-rise rooftops of podium buildings. In this effort, they created a continuous urban oasis full of trees, flowers, and waterscapes to provide a peaceful environment in which to rest and recharge. As part of the RE100 International Environmental Project led by the UK's Climate Group, the entire community's electricity will come from renewable sources. The Heatherwick Studio has worked to bring harmony and establish a Tokyo-specific identity on a complex, irregular-shaped land covering more than 8 hectares. The group came up with a pergola-like system to organize and harmonize numerous diverse parts of varying sizes across the area. The design allows for extensive green space at ground level and ascending the podium buildings without compromising accessibility to the ground. 
the undulating structure rises like a gently rising slope, imitating the natural shapes of the valley environment, and then punches through the ground to let sunlight fill the basement shopping levels. To guarantee that the project feels uniquely Tokyo down to the tiniest, most humane aspects, traditional Japanese crafts have been referenced, such as the Edo Kagiko glass etching method. At the heart of the project will be a medical center, spa and exercise clubs, grocery store, dining options, a central plaza, and vegetable gardens, all accessible through a membership program. It envisions a city that makes it possible for all of its residents and workers to experience wellness. The Takanamon Azubudai project presents new approaches to a number of pressing global problems such as low-carbon cities, biodiversity preservation, and truly improved health. This huge urban development project will revive a vast region of central Tokyo and will be finished in 2023. Now, you might be curious to meet the experts who are making this dream possible. Yes, I did mention some of their names already, but it's best to know them personally. But first, I really appreciate it if you could hit that like button and hit that subscribe button so you can keep track of our latest uploads. Moving on. So MAGA building played a crucial part in the project structure, which allowed the world's best innovators to achieve the design of this one-of-a-kind modern urban village. Heatherwick Studio, a British firm led by Thomas Heatherwick, who also designed the Olympic Cauldron for the London 2012 Games, was responsible for the public realm and lower-level architecture. Pelly, Clark & Partners, an American firm co-founded by the late Sasaga Pelly and the venerable Fred Clark, created the Three Towers. Su Fujimoto, who heads the Japanese firm Su Fujimoto Architects, was responsible for designing the retail spaces. Amon, the operator of varied world-class luxury hotels and resorts, and several other well-known specialists from all across the world participated as well. Japan is no stranger to futuristic ideas. Urban planning and architecture are undergoing a rapid transformation in the country as cities transform at an unprecedented pace. This has also created opportunities for innovative firms to develop solutions that unlock the potential of cities. I hope you found this video to be informative. Again, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching. All the latest technological developments right now. This is Technology Now. I'll see you in the next video.